Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Elavaris, and welcome back to the Battle for Wesnoth, specifically the Secrets of the Ancients campaign. Last time, we finished off some stuff with Raz Taban. Um, most notably, we slaughtered a horde of mermen, leveled up some units, which was nice, and now we are back with Ardana. Now, I have been reading through some comments, and in particular, some people mentioned leveling the two loyal units we got so they can become ancient liches. Now, unfortunately, one of them is dead. Uh, the other one I don't have control over right now. Didn't... Um, I guess I had some inkling that they would probably be useful and want to do that. Uh, but that was not something I was completely aware of. So, you know, I tend, unless I've played them before these new campaigns, I'm playing blind and I'm not reading guides before I do them. So, you know, hopefully things are still winnable without them. Um, if I can level uh, the other guy that we still have alive into an ancient lich, I will, I will try. Um, but for now, we'll have to just do it as we go and hopefully still succeed in the campaign regardless. Um, this scenario doesn't look terribly bad. We have Nagas on the right who have very limited recruitment space. We only have four. It's not that bad. And we have Saurians on the left. Um, now, Saurians mostly known for their cold damage. Nagas mostly known for their blade damage. And we are resistant to both, which is nice. So hopefully this shouldn't be that bad. Um, we have a lot of very high level units here. A goal is going to be to level even more of them. Um, and I think we're also going to be, yeah, we're going to get all of our revenants here because they definitely need leveling. And I think I'm not going to spend 20 gold recalling a vampire bat, I don't think. Let me village. We have village down here. Saurians, of course, moving very well in the swamp. I think we will recruit at least one bat. It's too bad she doesn't have access to their adepts yet, because they're very good. What are the resistances on a ghoul? 10% blade, 40% cold, not bad. The poison could come in handy. I know one of my subscribers, I believe Callum, mentioned that... Um, Poison would be very good against these guys. So perhaps I could consider using a few ghouls. Leveling one up might not be terrible. Let's take a look at my... I think I'm going to recruit at least one Death Knight here. Or recall one. Get that leadership bonus along the line. Money is rather limited. But thankfully, their money is also rather limited. Yeah, Saurians are already out. He's capturing that. Bat is capturing this. You're going there. It's Revenant over there. Bone Shooter up the front. You here. Now, the question is... Um, do we want to recall some Bane Bows? Ooh, a lot of level 2s here. 7 4 with the sword. I think a Bane Bow would be worthwhile. I think a Bane Bow would be worthwhile. And then I think we'll recruit a Skeleton Archer. Melee Impact. Their staff isn't going to be bad against us. Um, we'll recruit a skeleton warrior as well. And I think that will be it. We'll get everyone else out here. We're going to get our Donna up here as well. Saurians being able to move very quickly through the swamp is a little unfortunate for us. Oof. Oh my gosh, so many level 2s. Wow, okay. He was able to recruit a lot of them. Wow, and he's still got so much gold. They're so cheap, apparently. And they've got a ton of health. We really need to lure them onto land is the goal here.
Yeah, I think we're the goal is going to be just to play it slow, lure them onto land. Bring that over there. That's not going to be able to do much over there. Probably just wait for the Saurian to capture it and then swoop up the next turn. Get the Banebow up here. Move him back actually a little bit. View there. Want to force him to have to come at least somewhat into the land here. Want to kill a few as it turns to night. Although all of these factions are chaotic. Got their healers. Yeah, I was hoping he would go for the skeleton. Not for this guy, but... It's not bad. Okay, he's finally out of cash. That took a while. Alright. Let's take a look at our plan here. Let's go 17-2 right off the bat. Very nice. Let's see if we can't get our ghoul this kill. Yes, we can. Yeah, we're going to try and level a ghoul. 12-4 battle axe. Let's do it. Ten three. Oh, let's do it. Very nice. And there's our level up into a bane bow. We're going to be taking a very large advantage of our healing capabilities in this match. With these villages. Because we're outnumbered quite a bit. So... Going to want to heal, be able to heal as much as possible. We're going to try and lure these guys onto land if possible. Back them up with our units here. Now, Ardana is pretty vulnerable. No, not really, actually. She's not really that vulnerable. Can be attacked by one guy, but she's so close to leveling that a single kill will heal her to full health. So if she tanks some damage, it's not the end of the world. Another leadership guy over here. Okay, this isn't looking too bad right now. We'll leave him there holding that village. Okay, yeah, that's... Gonna be a little bit rough. Gonna have to pull back. Good poison. Please do not die. You're good. At least I thought he was good. Never mind. Wow. Okay, that was lucky. He's alive, but just barely. I thought he was dead for sure, but the, thankfully this guy sucks. They committed so much for that, and it's time... To do some of that. He needs to go right now. Where is he going is a great question though, because there's not a really there's not a lot of great healing points over here. We could try and go for a level up, but that's very risky since none of their level twos are actually on land. So I think we're going to have to forego that opportunity. Before we move him, let's try and do this. There we go. Hmm. Where can you go right now? You'll be hit by two, and two is enough to kill you. You could be hit by one, and one is not enough to kill you. It's just a matter of now killing these guys. You up here. Let's do a 
10 3. 9 3, sure, doesn't matter. Very nice. So a 9-4. Hopefully he doesn't kill. Oh, that's actually really good. See, I don't want to go in for that, but that's so unlikely. So unlikely. It's way too risky to do that. Maybe we'll try and leave that kill for the Revenant. Just not a big fan of that situation. Yeah, really not a huge fan of this situation here. He can hit twice, the Naga can hit four times. Four, four, but its damage is actually cut, so hopefully not too bad. Doing some good damage against these Nagas, but 10-3 curse. The bat's basically just dead if he tries to move up here. I guess we could try and bait with the bat, actually. That's not a bad idea. We would lose some money sources, I think, though. Uh, we can try and bait with the bat. I'm not opposed to that. We'll see if they want to go for the bat instead of the bane bow. They might take that option. And now we could just use this skeleton here to kill this guy. I want to do something with this skeleton. But I don't really want him taking this kill. Well, actually, you know what? That's not a bad if he takes that kill. We'll see if he can. There you go. Alright, they're going to go for the bat. Very nice. Oh, he misses. Alright, he's going to survive at least two. Or at least one, that is. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Some good luck there. Yes, come on to land. Oh, yes. Oh, these guys. Yes, this is exactly what we want. So much retaliation. Okay. Okay. Plan. Muck some fools. Death Knight. 15 4. It's a lot of damage that he can potentially take. 60% on mushrooms. What is this madness? You know what? Go take him out. Thank you. You level now. Let's do this. 17 3. 1 HP. Let's see if you can't get that. Unfortunately not. Alright, so we need to be careful here. Sixteen XP is not enough for a level for this guy. And you are unable to get in. I really would like this guy to get a kill, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I think we're going to go for a 10-4 here. Okay, he's very close. Just need to make sure we don't let anyone get in here. Gonna need to do some body blocking. You kill him. You kill him. Has to be done. I think he should be fine. These are both level ones. Let's do it. 50%. Ah, 
Ah, whatever, let's go for it. There we go. Now none of them can die. Yeah, neither of them can die. Yep. Perfectly fine. You are going to go heal over there. You guys need some some definite healing. Let's bring out a 20 to 2. If you get the kill, that's okay. We're rushing for a finish here. I want to get some gold in the next scenario. Now, can you get a kill here without risk of dying? A 2-4. If you get hit four times, you will die. If he hits once, he could win. Or he could live. Nope. Uh, eight two hit once maybe. Let's try it. Here we go. Very nice, Death Knight, coming in hot. You're gonna want to heal over here. Yeah, we're now gonna try and go for a quick finish. Alright, let's go. We're going to go for Nagas first, I think. Well, we could send a strike team in either direction. We're going to send our Donna up to the Saurians. Or should we send our Donna to the Nagas? That might not be a bad idea. We'll send our Donna to the Nagas. We'll send the melee strike team up to the Saurians. Rain strike team. Going to the Nagas. He still needs some healing. He still needs a little bit of healing. But screw it. We gotta we gotta go. We need to get this party on the road. Okay. Ardana, thirteen two. You can get two hits, that would be awesome. There you go, now you level. How far can you move? There? Okay. So we gotta go there. Coming up here. Coming up here. Death Knight's also gonna go that way. Banebow's gonna go this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's move! fine all right I think we're doing pretty okay here now he can move out it's just we're not gonna be able to kill him with this team right now let's just move past this guy got to get the show on the road you up here far can you go? Not far enough. That's good. Let's put you over here. Go for a 12-4. And you up here. 6 and 12. He could die the next turn. So I think we'll actually we'll put him over here. We'll try and lure the Saurian out. Kill him at night. Should be nice. Because he might move actually to here if he does. No, he doesn't. <sighs> Fine. He really wants to be dealt with, does he? Let's 
Let's not move those two guys. Okay. This guy wants a kill. Let's see if we can get him one. Yes, we can. Bainbow up front. 15 4. Insta kill. He's only got two hits. But this guy could die if we're not careful. Because it is melee impact, it's going to be a lot of damage. We just got to get the show on there. We got to get these guys moving. We cannot delay any longer. Put him in the water. We don't care. Seventeen three. Not liking those odds. There we go. Move you up there. All right, let's move. You up there. Death Knight Brigade is moving in. Okay, you've got to go heal again. Well, if they want to attack the Bainbow, they can. You move up there. Alright, Death Knights and Revenant. Let's go. Surround him. Twelve. Four. Nothing. Twelve. Four. All right, eleven four. All right, well, clearly we're gonna need another round at least, but that's okay because this side's not doing much better. Yep, you're gonna come around. That's perfectly fine. Let's press the attack. Nine four. It's one down. Nine four. Nothing. Double lead I like that on either side, except he misses every time. That's okay though. Leader's going to heal, is he? That may have been a mistake, sir. Eleven three. Nothing. Eleven three. Okay. Eight three. Very nice. Five four. Just any damage we can. Need to get this guy close to dead. No damage. That's okay. You go capture, you go over there, you go over here. Mm, I don't think he can kill this guy. He cannot. Alright, let's get rid of him. Just gonna put him there. 
there's a slim chance he dies, but there is a chance. Well, it's not that slim, but there's still a chance. Oh, it's going for the attack. I was thinking with the magic increased damage, there's a de definite possibility he dies. Not definite, definite as in it will happen, but a distinct possibility that it could happen. Well, we'll try and go in for a 10-3 here. There we go. Good. Now I can practice recruiting ghosts. Woo! Human, take me with you. Why should I allow that? Your people attacked me. I tried to stop them. For myself, I wished not to attack. I wished to learn. My race lives but a short time compared to yours. I would learn to extend my span, and the planets told me you know this secret. Actually, I am searching for the secret now, but could you follow the orders of a woman? I have started into the darkness of the, between the stars and not been intimidated by the void, but your mind holds a darkness of another kind, frightening and forbidden by my clan. I submit to your power. Now that I know you are female, I will find it easier, as it is the way of my kind. Very well, come along. I am Ardona. Yes, but the planets tell me your name is now untrue. I do not understand this. Nor do I. Your planets are quite cryptic. They reveal what they will. 16 per turn. Bonus gold, 76. Not terrible. Not terrible. Could be better. Could have been worse. But yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at our stats here. We lost two units. Skeleton and Vampire Bat. And we got three advancements. Bane, Bow, Bone, Shooter, Death Knight. Not bad at all. So yeah, that's going to call it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, we'll see what is in store. Um, and if we have an opportunity to, we'll try and level up some of those uh, loyal units that we got at Carson. So yeah, um, as a quick reminder, I am once again nearing close to 1,000 subscribers at around 990 right now, which is kind of insane. Um and there is a form linked in my Discord in the announcements channel if you would like to submit an idea for what uh, you want me to do for a 1,000 subs. So yeah, I would like to thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.